Electronics tend to not like getting wet, and outside, there's a lot of wet from all the water. So when I put electronics outside, I use a weatherproof enclosure that has a gasket to create a watertight seal. But these tend to be a bit pricey, and for smaller projects, there aren't as many good options. So I wanted to see how hard it would be to create some waterproof enclosures, 3D print them, and put them to the test. Luckily for me, Bamboo Labs sent me their A1 3D printer with the AMS light for multi-material printing. I've been 3D designing and printing for about 10 years now, and the Bamboo lab printers are easily the best 3D printer that I've ever personally used. Setup is always super simple and straightforward with plenty of instructions and I'm always amazed by how good the quality is straight out of the box. I've had to do no manual tuning or no manual bed leveling here at all and after performing a super fast benchy test I'm ready to start printing my own test designs. I printed most of the designs in Bamboo Labs YPETG which has better weather resistance than PLA. I just used the default parameters that were automatically loaded when I installed the filament into the AM MS, and the print quality for these was fantastic. These first designs are just tests to see if we can make a watertight container and they're just simple boxes with a flange and a groove that we're going to fill up with this liquid gasket that I'm hoping we can use to create a seal. The process of doing that was a bit messier than I would have hoped but hopefully the results are good enough. Let me know if you have any other suggestions of ways we can create watertight gaskets in 3D prints. I also printed the boxes in a few other materials like PLA and blue just to see if there's any differences. For each test the box was submerged underwater for about half an hour. These conditions are a bit more extreme than what I'd expect if it was just sitting outside, but it does allow me to test and compare different designs. And most of the boxes did pass the test. The biggest factor that seemed to improve performance was allowing for even compression of the gasket and allowing enough clearance in the gap for the gasket to deform into. I ran multiple tests with the same boxes and on some test runs the same box that passed the first time, the second time let in water, which seemed to suggest that I wasn't evenly compressing the gasket. To confirm that it was the seal that was the problem and not water getting in through the 3D print itself, I evenly clamped the lid down and submerged it in a bucket of water for a few hours and confirmed that no water got in. So I learned a lot from these tests and will be using what I learned in my designs going forwards. Let me know of any of your suggestions in the comments and follow along to see what we'll be using these enclosures for and what else we print with the Bamboo Lab A1 Combo.